inevitably it has been a little while since we have actually sat down to do a video and i do apologize for that i haven't had the motivation or the temperament to really sit down and play this game recently and the player base has been expanding dramatically from what i'm seeing the active player base at the moment one week post a major update and with a new event is 165 to almost 170,000 players Last time we saw numbers like that was probably when the F-14 came out and during the pandemic and, and its sort of growth period over the last three years, the player base has remained slightly higher, which is fantastic. But to all those people who are saying the game is dead, well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you here. I think what's dead is the sense of a, a wider feeling of a, a larger community. I feel like a lot of the older players are attached to what the old game used to be and filled with nostalgia about what the game used to be. And with this ever-growing technology, the power creep just increases the skill level and the skill gap. Plus, you've got, you know, new mechanics coming out every major update. So I don't think that's really the, the, the issue. But as someone who's played the game for a, a very long time, uh, my skill base has sort of dropped dramatically as I've played the game less. War Thunder is one of those types of arcade simulators that allows you to branch out into other simulator games and various other things. But it also... If you're not really playing it on a consistent level, that kind of awareness and obviously, uh, I guess, visual expectations and, 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 and you know, managing your, your aircraft or, or vehicle can be lost to the ether. You know, I might go play you know, 12 hours of City Skylines, for example, and come back and not know how to control a vehicle. But you could also go on holiday for three weeks and not touch the game for a long period of time and come back and go... Actually, what the fuck am I actually doing? The, the impressive thing is, by this whole entire conversation, is technically, because of the expansion in the player base and the more interest in more modern jets, Galvan's going to have a fun time trying to keep the gameplay loop interesting. It's been Team Deathmatch for a very, very long time, but I find, as an air player, that top tier doesn't really interest me. The average gameplay loop is basically you fly in for three minutes, you fire off a couple of missiles, and then basically it devolves into dogfights of groups of people as 16 versus 16 PvP just erupts into utter chaos. Throwing people into matches left, right, and center, 16 versus 16 is great and all. Most people are playing the higher end tiers, or if not, they've got a premium vehicle. And the age old saying of playing 40 minutes a day might only uh, obtain or pertain to a particular subset of people like myself who've played the game for donkey's years. But what I have noticed is a drastic increase of the record number of players coming to play the game. That is fantastic. There is an existing user base, which means that that the matchmaking is no longer going to be an issue, especially at higher tiers. But at lower end, everything seems to be a bit too slow for my liking. I don't know, maybe I've got used to the, the early to late jets. I, I just find that the gameplay loop for War Thunder is not very fun anymore, even at higher tiers. There's so much you can have to do. And if you're, if you're you know, relatively skilled in that manner, it isn't too hard to, to gain the skills necessary. But if you're working like I am or dealing with health issues, you just don't have the time to sort of dedicate, you know, 30, 40 hours of your life to getting better at how to fly an F4 Phantom. When you're going to get Fox 3 or we're going to get more beyond visual range stuff as time goes on. And let me tell you a story. Me and a squad of mates were playing uh, just random aircraft and we decided that we wanted to go fly the Venom, for example. And that thing at 8.7 just utterly just is a horrible battle rating for the vehicle. But not only that, it fights things that are premium. It fights things that are faster than it, like the F-104s, the T-2s, uh, Harriers, for example, and various other F-86s. So it's a struggle to, to really fly something that doesn't have countermeasures and doesn't have flares and also doesn't have missiles. In the end, we were flying around aimlessly trying to get a couple of the jets to turn fight with us. That way we could engage with our fort and the cannons. And we did get a couple of kills, at the, but it was just a horrible experience. You're a subsonic jet that couldn't get enough speed and most of your teammates were already dead by that time. So you're trying to hold the line while you're fighting stuff like F-104s or even Su-25s. So in my opinion, there needs to be a distinction in the battle ratings and an increase. We went to 12.0, why not go to 15? That way you can uncompress some of the earlier jets and let them make like they're, they're sort of their own error. The beauty of 
uh, staying with War Thunder as a video game is you get to experience all the different errors as the, I want to call it, power creep goes up. Uh, but the new technologies allow for different play styles and they drastically either speed up or they just you know, introduce more issues. What I'd love to see is a more focus on back to what the game used to be, historical battles or some form of, you know, Axis versus Allies or even in the alt alternate history, but uh, just chuck things in. But realistic battles has always been that really strange mix of just nationalities. And the other day I was playing and I got on America and Britain versus Japan and I just lost my shit. It, full on uh, nostalgic blast uh, back in the past of you intercepting bombers and various other attackers and, and, and fighters that were carrier based while you as the Japanese player would go around and try and dogfight with a P-51. Fun times. You knew your capabilities, you knew what you were fighting. For example, if you're fighting Germans, you knew that you had to either turn fight or outgun them. And I just feel like considering that War Thunder is constantly evolving, I would love them to experiment with different game modes or just do something other than team deathmatch. <laughs>